What's up guys, Dave Taggart here, your favorite roofer's favorite roofer with A5 Roofing. We're actually in New Braunfels and we're doing a couple of roof inspections and we're finding some real interesting things. But that roof is severely underventilated. Um, same thing with our client's roof over here. It was done by a previous contractor. There is a four foot piece of ridge vent on the top of that roof. Same thing with this roof over here. It has uh, four, eight, 12 linear foot of ridge vent on the top of that. This roofing system over here only has about probably 20 linear foot of ridge van across this the top roof right here. May be properly ventilated, but you see these little gables here with these little pieces. All those cavities, those attic cavities need to be closed off so the air doesn't go in the soffit intake and bypass every piece of those little ridge vents that are up there and go straight to the top because then your ridge does not ventilate your roofing cavity, your attic cavity properly. There's a calculation that's involved in calculating the proper amount of attic exhaust that a home must have based on the square footage and the cubic footage of attic space. Make sure your roofing contractor, if he proposes to change or install any particular type of ventilation, that he gives you a copy of a vent calculation that they have performed for your specific roofing system. Now I'll show you what that looks like because at A5, we're professional. This out. So looking at the ventilation here, you can see that the ventilation for ridge vent is going to have to be on a lot of these homes. We would have to have close to 174 to 116 linear foot of ventilation on, on, a, on any given property. For this property, my homeowner has about eight. He's got another couple of four over here. He's got about 12 over here and he's got some other stuff going on with it. But that is not enough available ridge length on this home to properly ventilate this attic space. And unfortunately, the home, as you can see, is severely underventilated. So when you're working with a contractor who's proposing to do construction on your roof, make sure they have documentation ready to provide to you to show you the proper construction process for your home. Again, Dave Taggart with A5 Roofing. If you or somebody you know could benefit from working with an actual construction professional, please give us a call. 210-517-1777 or visit us online at a5roof.com.